There are so many consumer laws that can be get things deleted from your credit report. But after studying these laws, if you have a collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, child support, hard inquiries, late payments, if your accounts came back verified, if your accounts got reasserted on your credit report, there are specific laws you can use to get those things removed from your credit report. And I want to walk you through the whole entire process to knock the credit barrels out. Remember, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, and these debt collectors are your enemies. So. Every chance you get, you should be hitting them with everything you got. So grab a pen, get some paper, sit back, relax, cause we about to get straight into it. When it comes to removing things from your credit report, there's a process that you wanna go about doing it, all right? Now, there are many laws that you can use, but I want to show you how I think in the process when I break down these laws of what you should do. Now, there are more procedures and more processes when it comes to getting these things removed from your credit report, right? But we'll be on here for a while if I broke down, hey, if this happened, this do this or this or do this or do this or do this, all right? We'll be on here for a while. But most importantly, I will break down, I'll break that down in later videos. But I just want to give you a synopsis. Yes, I'm gonna break this even more down, but I just want to show you that hey, if you have collections, you can go, you can do this to remove those collections from your credit report with these specific consumer laws, all right? If you have hard inquiries on your credit report, you can use these specific consumer laws to go ahead and remove them hard inquiries off your credit report. If you have negative accounts, what I mean by negative accounts, all right? If you have a charge off, eviction, um, a repossession on your credit report, you can go about using these consumer laws to get these removed from your credit report. If your accounts got reinserted, what should you use? All right, you can use these specific laws, this specific procedure to go ahead and get these things removed from your credit report. All right, if your accounts came back verified, like what should you do? All right, and these like, you can have specific consumer laws and same thing when it comes to like a bankruptcy, all right? Now, we'd have been on here for a while because they got bankruptcy, late payments. If the credit bureaus didn't respond back to you within 35 days, like what do you do? And I'm gonna make that video even what comes to child support identity theft. We're gonna make those videos. I just want to give you something so you can go ahead and start taking action, all right? So if your accounts got reinserted on your credit report, like what should you do? I want you to think about this, all right? Did they did they notify you in five days? Probably not. Is the account still inaccurate? Probably so, all right? How would you know? You have to get your report. So you, you wanna get your report and just look at that account and see if it's a, is it complete and accurate? Is it showing inconsistent information? Because according to 15 USC 1681 I, Five B. What you're going to see is this right here. Let me show you the law that I'm talking about. All right. So requirements relating to reinsertion of previously deleted material, certification of accuracy of information. If any information is deleted from a consumer's file pursuant to subparagraph A, the information may not be reinserted in the file by the consumer reporting agency unless the person who furnished the information certifies that this information is complete and accurate, all right? And I'm pretty sure it's not. And they have another law, basically, did they notify you in five days? And I'm pretty sure they did it. So what should you do next? What you wanna do next is create a letter with following the flow chart, all right? Now, the letter is basically gonna stay is, hey, I looked at my report. I noticed this account came back on my credit report and got previously deleted. However, they didn't notify me in five days and it's still incomplete and inaccurate. Investigate this, please, or delete this account immediately. Now, Typically, you want to send that to um, Experian or whoever you're addressing this to that it came back on your credit report. And then you want to wait 35 days, 30 days for them to do an investigation, five days for them to send you back the investigation according to 15 USC 1681 I-6. All right. And you can read the law for yourself. But most importantly, after the results, they come back in. Three things might happen. The account got deleted. Congratulations. The account came back verified or they didn't respond to you at all. Like, what should you do when that happens, all right? Now, like I said, we will be on here for a while and I'll break all that down, but let's just say your accounts came back verified. There are multiple ways you can go about doing this, but you can go ahead and file the complaint. And what you wanna do is be very detailed of what you did from the first time you got your report, from the time you sent out the letter, the certified tracking, what happened, and you just wanna be very detailed, showing the violations and things like that to get that account removed from your credit report using these specific laws and you can go over the laws as well but these are the main laws and there's more laws that you can use to get that account deleted but like i said i just wanted to give you enough information so you can take action all right now if you don't have time to do this we do of course 
do things different. All right. Now the traditional credit pairs send letters back and forth. No, nah, we sue. We sue in the credit bureaus and we sue in these debt collectors. And if you need help, you can always reach out to me. All right. But most importantly, let's get on to the next one. So if you have a collection on your credit report, what should you do? All right. Now, are you receiving calls or text messages from the, um, these collection agencies? Are you getting letters from the, these collection agencies? Or are you getting emails from these collection agencies? So you can respond back a specific, a specific way according to 15 USC 1692. All right. C. Now, how can you respond back? You can either send a letter saying that, you know what, let me show you the law. All right. I'm going to show you the law really quick. So if any consumer notifies a debt collector in writing that a consumer refused to pay a debt or that a consumer wishes the debt collector to cease further communication with the consumer, the debt collector shall not communicate further with the consumer with respect such debt except. And you can go ahead and read all these. I'm not going to break all that down. But most importantly, when it comes to removing a collection from your credit report, you can respond back either by texting them back saying that, hey, I refuse to pay this debt have a lot going on, whatever, whatever. Or you can send a letter back to them, right? Saying that I refuse to pay this debt. I have a lot going on, right? Now, if they respond back to you, it's a violation, all right? Multiple violation. And yes, you can go, you can sue them. However, hey, let me and my team do it so we can knock these collection agencies out. When it comes to removing hard inquiries from your credit report, here's what the process looks like, all right? Here's what we go through, all right? Now you want to call and order your reports from the all three major credit bureaus. All right. Their reports are different from the ones you get on annual credit report and the ones you go when it comes to identity IQ and other places as well. All right. So when you order your report, what you want to do is go to the, when you get your report, you want to go to the part where it says inquiry section. All right. There's going to be hard inquiries and there's going to be soft. All right. You go to the inquiry section that says hard. What you're going to see is all the inquiries that you have with the date, but under there is going to have like permissible purpose. Some's going to say it. Some is not going to say permissible purpose and just highlight everyone that don't say permissible purpose. You're going to see a lot of them that don't say permissible purpose. And according to 18 USC 1681 B, there has to be permissible purpose for them specific inquiries to be on your report. All right. Now, if they don't have permissible purpose, what you want to do, which is going to be a violation is what you want to do is create a letter. All right. Now you can send it to based off of who you talking to. All right. Now you want to create a letter only for Experian, create a letter for only for TransUnion, and create a letter for only for Equifax. That's very important. You don't want to mix it up. All right. Now create a letter basically saying that, Hey, these inquiries below don't have permissible purpose. According to 15 USC 1681 IB, send the, the, you can send the actual letter with the credit report, but two forms of identification and send it to the correct credit bureau. All right. Now, wait 35 days. All right. 30 days. Remember when I talked about 35 days. All right. And then if they act crazy, you want to file a complaint. All right. Now, how do you file a complaint? Go to CFPB and file a complaint and just be very detailed of what happened and what they did and what they did not do. All right. And just basically, you know, go through the process and show the attachments of what you're talking about because evidence is key. All right, so you just want to have that as well. Let's break down the negative accounts on your credit report, right? Repossession, eviction, charge offs, right? Go ahead, let's break this down, all right? Now, the first thing I talk about this a lot already, if you don't understand how to use these laws to remove it, all right, I'm gonna break it down for you. Check your report, go to Identity IQ. According to 15 USC 1681B, let me show it to you really quick. I was talking about 15 USC 1681, EB, all right. When a consumer report agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedure to assure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates to. Now, when you look at your report, I'm pretty sure you can see that your report doesn't show that a they follow reasonable procedure to assure that everything is complete and accurate on your credit report, all right. Because if they did, they would have had so many incorrect and so much inconsistent information. All right. Now that's a violation. Now you also go ahead and identify that identify the inaccuracy. But what you're not going to do is tell the credit bureaus to update and fix those accuracies. What you want to tell them to do is investigate the completeness and accuracy of those accounts. It's totally different. 
because what they're supposed to do versus what they should have already done is totally different. So when you tell them to check the completeness and accuracy, what they're supposed to do is make sure the open date, date last active, all those different accounts on your credit report is complete and accurate, but it's probably not. And they're probably not going to modify. They're probably not going to update. They're probably not going to do none of that. All right. They're just going to say everything's complete and accurate, which is, a, which we know is a lot. All right. So you want to send a letter basically saying, check the completeness and accuracy. If it's not complete and accurate, delete it from my account immediately, or we're going to have a problem. All right. Send that to TransUnion, Experian, Equifax separately. Make sure you have the right specific accounts depending on who you talking to. All right. Make sure you add two forms of identification, send it certified. I'm right here following the flow. Now wait 35 days, like we talked about before. And then the investigation is going to come back. Either your accounts come back, verify your accounts got deleted or the accounts got deleted from one specific credit bureau. Like, what do you do? Like, like I said, there's so many procedures and um, processes which you can do to follow to get like, what if one got deleted and the other two credit bureaus didn't get deleted? There's a process for that. Like, there's laws for that. All right. Now, investigation. Um, what you want to do next, if the accounts, the credit bills didn't respond back to you in 30 days or 35 days, what do you do? That's a violation, right? So if it's like if they did say that everything is complete and accurate, like what do you do? You want to file a complaint. Now you can also follow up with this process that I'm gonna to talk to you about, but you can also uh, file a complaint basically stating that everything is complete and accurate. And things like that all right just make it very detailed of how you file your um cfpb complaint all right now when it comes to accounts that come back to verify like what is the process for that what laws do you use for that like how do you go about doing that if your accounts come back verified you of course you want to check your report and just compare it just want you to compare it and just look to see if they update and modify. they do anything of that nature and i'm pretty sure they did it so what you want to use is 15 USC 1681 I7, all right? And also 15 is going to tell you to go back to 15 USC 1681 I6 as well. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find other violations when you read those specific laws because it's going to tell you to refer back to another one, which they didn't do as well. But what they're supposed to do is when you tell them to provide you a description, like we're going to create a letter and ask them to provide you a description of how you verified update modified they're supposed to provide you a detailed a, a detailed description of what happened all right of how they of how they came about that investigation and they're supposed to send it to you um within 15 days all right 15 days they're supposed to send it back to you that detail but they probably didn't so now they did or they didn't but now you, what you want to do now is file a complaint based off of all the laws that they violated. And there's multiple laws that they violate. All right. Should have added on here. But 15 USC 1681 um, I-7, 15 USC 1681 I-5, 15 USC 1681 um, EB, I, um, EB, 15 USC 1681 just I, the first one is just multiple laws because they didn't really do nothing. All right. And there's more to it. But that's how you're going to be able to get the accounts that came back verified removed from your credit report or so you can hit me up and we can sue them all right because like i said the credit bureaus transunion expanded equifax are your enemies all right they ain't here to help you so don't let them fool you 